Hey guys, Games for Life here, and in today's video we'll be completing Estonia's breakdown event. We'll need close to 900,000 points for that, so let's get on with it. We've already completed tiers 1 and 2, and we've seen these items, but now that the final stage of the event has finally started, we can unlock all of the other new items. First of all, we'll need to complete the mission that just popped up, and once we complete this, we'll receive a leak, a medium resource canister, a medium gas canister, and some bites, and this is also sending us to the core layer, so that's where we'll find all of the new items. I'll go ahead and complete this and the leak is one of the new items that we are going to be using a lot in this video you might have also caught a glimpse of the om nugget but we'll talk about that later here's the goal for this video so we've got to reach this many points in order to get the explosive personality hat but we are going to do it in a smart way that's not going to take us so much time first of all we'll need to head into the core layer so let's take the train this is the fastest option and we are using coal as well so we can move even faster and I'm using a train configuration that's specifically designed for this event. I will do a video on that soon, so keep your eyes peeled for that. And on the way to the core, I just wanted to show you there are some new giant isolated specimens which give you new items like the leaks for example. So make sure to find these if you can. All you need to do is to activate them and you'll get a free item. So if you see one of these, go unlock it. From what I've seen, these can give you leaks, resi pound or winches, but you can also get other types of materials. And here we are in the core layers. You can find these little ones here as well, and you'll get resi pound and stuff like that. So yeah, that's a good source of materials. But if you look up there, we've also got a golden one. So I want to get up there to see what that drops. And there we go. And we got the winch, alright. So a lot of these give you winches and you can basically use them to move these things. But I'm not really gonna do that. And yet down here is our astronium extraction facility, don't mind that. Oh and one more thing I wanted to show you before we start collecting items. The exocaches down here are glowing, so let's unlock one and see what we get. Okay, so all the resources went flying, now I have to find them. Basically we get tier 1 items like the automaton and cosmic bubbles, which are actually really useful for tier 3 because we'll need to craft a ton of burritos for this. I'll show you all about that in just a second. But right now let me show you the different X research aids that you can find and what you can get from each one of them. Okay, so we've already talked about the random isolated specimens you're gonna find throughout the caves. And those are pretty common. But what isn't so common are the golden research aids. The ones that require resi pound will give you a winch, but the ones that require a leak will always give you an om nugget. The rest of the X research aids, purple or blue, will usually give you tier 1 or 2 items. And from what I can gather it only depends on your luck. If you don't want to use up resources in order to unlock these, you can go for the ones that require power. You can easily unlock these if you are using a rail system. Now don't forget about the exo caches as well. You can gather multiple of them and blow them up. They usually only drop tier 1 items, but they are still very valuable in crafting burritos. So our strategy for completing this is crafting burritos. Burritos give you 8888 points, so they are the most valuable resource for this event. Now here's a schematic of what you'll need to craft a burrito. So basically you'll need Resi Pound, Leak, Om Nugget and Squashotain. You will find Resi Pound and Leaks from the caves like I've just shown you, but you will need to craft the Om Nugget and the Squashotain. Now the Squashotain has a pretty simple recipe, all you need is unknown biofuel and Noxotain, but for the Om Nugget it's gonna be a little bit more complicated, you can see it on screen right now, I'm not gonna explain the whole process. One thing to note is that you can also find the Om Nugget already crafted in the caves once you unlock more of these extra research aids. But right now let's craft one and see what we get. And there it is, that's my first burrito in Estronier, and it looks tasty. So let's go ahead and send this. There we go. Now all we need to do is send like a hundred more of these. That's gonna take a while. But I'm gonna build a whole automatic contraption that's gonna automatically craft burritos, and all we need to do is feed the resources into it. We are gonna have full canisters of every single resource we'll need for this, so I'll head back into the caves and get all of those materials, and I'll be right back. One eternity later. Alright, so after gathering a ton of materials, we finally have everything we need to complete the breakdown event. I've also built all of this automation to make it easier for us. If you want to build this, there will be a separate video for that, but right now let's get to crafting. So all we need to do is enable output on all of these canisters. 
Now that output is enabled on all of them, we can just drive the train in here. And the rail station is set to unload stopped cars. So that's gonna unload everything on here. And we should start crafting all the materials we need. So we've got auto arms with items in a selector slot so they take exactly what's needed. And the rest remains on the platform where it will be used to craft something else. So I'll leave this farm running for a little bit and we should have tier 3 completed in no time. But yeah, I'll just skip forward and we can see the tier completed. One eternity later. Alright, and here we go. Once we send this, all of the breakdown event will be completed and we will receive the explosive personality hat. So let's go ahead and do that. And it should unlock any moment now. There we go. Let's go ahead and equip it. Here it is, explosive personality. Oh, and it actually has a fire on top. I wasn't expecting that. But this looks really good with a liminal leak palette, which we got for completing tier 2 of the breakdown event. By the way, if you haven't seen that video yet, you should. Alright, so we've completed the whole event. Now we can just complete extra tiers and we will get some rewards for that. I'm gonna do a couple of these in the future. Oh, and I almost forgot to show you, we also received this thing. It just says 1 out of 5, so I'm guessing we need 4 more of these to unlock something. What will we unlock? I don't know, but I'll keep looking for this stuff and we'll see what happens. So for tier 1 we received the bubblegum visor. For tier 2 we received the liminal leak palette. And right now for tier 3 we got the explosive personality hat. They all work extremely well together. So I would say the rewards for this event were especially good compared to the previous ones. Now don't forget about the breakdown playlist, it should be on screen right here. Or if you don't feel like watching that, you can watch this other video. Okay, so that's gonna be it for today. I've been Games for Life and I'll see you next time. Cheers, Estoniers!